Welcome back, 40 Pioneers, and thanks for watching. So, your new bottle should have turned up in a box. It's a good idea to reinforce the bottom with some good strong tape. This will prevent your full bottles from falling through. Right, so make sure that your priming bucket um, is at least two foot above where you're going to be doing your siphoning. So now you're going to install your siphon hose clip and siphon. You can take the sediment trap off the bottom if you wish. Just make sure you put the tube about one to two centimeters from the bottom. Alternatively, you can use your auto siphon. So you're going to want to grab yourself uh, your tray and put it at least two foot minimum below your priming bucket. Um, this is obviously to stop any spills, which there will be plenty of. So just don't overcrowd your tray though. Um, just grab yourself a few from your bottling tray. You're now going to start your siphon or auto siphon, um, bring in a bit just to where you get to the hose clamp and then push the hose clamp in to stop the flow. This will make it obviously a lot easier for you now to install the uh, bottling wand. Once you've installed the wand, you can unclasp the siphon hose clamp, but don't worry, the flow won't start yet. Finally, it's actually time to bottle. These bottling wands are super easy and super quick. You push down to start the flow of your beer, you release it to stop. So you're aiming to get your brew about an inch from the top of your bottle. This will provide enough headspace um, to stop your lids from blowing off with any pressure. enjoyed this video and it's been helpful don't forget to click that subscribe button hit that notification bell for future videos please feel free to comment or drop me a question if you wish stay safe everybody